Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mixstar, and this is my attempt to make a Pokemon Scarlet and Violet anime that we never got, part two. So, uh, yeah, just to start off and basically like to kind of go back on what a few things that I said. <clears throat> I'm, I'm thinking yes. Instead of a flip of a coin because it's gonna be hard that way. I'm, I'm talking about the school and the professors and all that. But yeah, one is Sada is gonna st still be alive. It's gonna still gonna still be with Arvin. Well, basically because apart from when the father is there, it's always it's always the mother. The mother is always there with the child. So Sada is going to be there. Toro is going to be the one that dies in the accident. But when I get to it, yes, that sort of paradox that basically, as you get in the game, is going to actually happen. But I'll, I'll get to that at that time. The school... <sighs> Yeah, I know I did say it was going to be a flip of a coin again, but why not just combine them both? So it it it's named both of them. That and that I, I, I can't remember what they're both called, but still name them both. All right, and one of a well, okay, two of the last things. One. Basically, I, I don't, I can't remember as I, I don't know the actual order of the route legitimately you're supposed to take. I know there is one, and that is the one that Ash is following, but I, I don't know that route. So basically, I'm gonna say he catches the Pokemon. I'm gonna say he catches. Yeah, I'm not going to say when he catches, it's just that he is going to get him, but at the points when he can get him. Because I think I've already said that he gets a, a fridge back already, but I don't think he's even gone to the, mount, to the snowy mountains yet, legitimately. So, yeah. And the other thing is the the trip that he takes to Kitakami that is to do with his ranger course that he, that he's doing and I know I did say he ca he doesn't catch a pokemon which okay technically he doesn't but as like in every game no in every anime series an egg is always found and Ash or someone on the team gets the egg. So, basically, as he's going around with Kieran at that time, and yeah, at this point, Penny and Arvin are not, not with him because he kind of was, it's just his course. He's on that course, they're not. So basically, they're kind of like, um, I don't know, off doing their own thing right now. Like, Penny could start doing some more stuff with Team Star, organise things, I don't know. Arvin could be looking into more research about finding the rest of the Herba Mesca, or something like that. So, I'll, at least I've got something going. So, I'm not just left doing nothing. But, yeah, Ash is going to find an egg. I, d I don't know if he's going to get the egg while he's doing a picnic. Or he's just going to find it lying around. But that Pokemon is going to be an Applin. And it will evolve into Diplin. So, yeah. It basically kind of solves the issue of... Uh, basically at the end, where Ash fights Kieran... To see who catches Ogopon. It is it's basically Ash fights Kieran. So if Kieran wins, yes, he catches Ogopon. 
if Ash wins, Kieran leaves him alone and he's not caught, he stays in Katakami. Yes, he's probably going to stay in the cave, but with everything that's done, even the villagers say that Ogapon can now come down to the village, doesn't have to hide. So, yeah, that is how that's going to be. So, going from that, yeah, and that took, <laughs> yeah, whatever. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say the Pokemon that I would want Ash to get, which will be, no, which, no, not like to get, he would get. So, he's, he already has Pikachu with the move Fly, as I said, because, yeah, Pikachu always has to get something new, a new move. That one move that keeps changing, as I said. It's going to change into Fly, and Pikachu's going to be the one with the flying type, the special one. Is he gets his primate back off the off that guy, and it evolves into an eye an eye lape. He, ca he catches a watch a watch roll. He catches Fidgibax. He he gets Sprigatito. And uh, he catches Charcadet. Hmm. But that was that one more that I give him. Uh, well, then again, basically, it's technically my team, which I'm kind of giving him because I think these Pokemon suit him more. <sighs> What's the last one? Eh, it'll probably come to me, but it is basically on that list from part one, so yeah, just re watch that if I haven't brought it up. But, and obviously, as I said, he, he gets an Applin. Which is going to evolve into Diplin, and then it will evolve into Hydraplin uh, late, later on. So basically, it'll catch Applin, and then at the end of the whole Kitakami thing, it will evolve into. It will get. It will have a Diplin at that point. So it's it's basically kind of even Stevens with sort of with Kieran. So, he would get a uh, Finzen, whatever it is that, that dolphin that has the, that hero form when it f returns and comes back out. Because we, we all know Ash is a trainer that will swap his Pokemon in and out. So basically, yeah, have that. <laughs> yeah, it, w it would suit him. And... I did say that the legendary that I've got okay instead of Ash getting having it it's probably just going to stay in Arvin's possession just staying in its poke wall not, not even coming out so they don't even ride it but mm, I'm thinking that That I've, Ash is going to catch a Cyclozar. But then Cyclozar and... Okay, can a Cyclozar hold three people? Or... But then all of them are going to have to have a Cyclozar. Yeah. Well, Ash is still going to get a Cyclozar anyway. Uh, so, Cyclozar... Vin Vincent, uh but was there any others that I sort of wanted him to get? I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure there was, but hmm. I I don't think Lechonk is gonna is gonna work for him. Uh I, I was thinking Paldane Whooper, but not no, I don't think so. I don't know why. It's just... Uh. Okay, is there any others that I want? I, w I was thinking that he would catch a... A Paradox Pokemon, but... No, because... When you go into Area Zero, it's basically a... 
I, I know for us during the games it wasn't, but they'll probably act, say it's like a, a safe space in, in a way. A place where you don't catch Pokemon. So, yeah. Ah, Grafiai. He's going to catch that, but he's not going to catch it in, in its first form. In as a strudel. Or basically it might work the same way as Yeah, as as when he when he called Primate. Find as a strudel, it evolves either during the battle he where Ash is against it to catch it. Or Yeah, it will evolve during that battle. So <laughs> Yeah, instead of a strudel like he want, he probably wanted, he ends up catching the Grafai. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's a lot better than another way, which was. But. Um, oh yeah, and possibly. Okay, this is like an event that's probably going to happen. The, the area where the Paldean Torals is. Basically, he's just going to be either run, basically run over as he does, or get flung into the air by a herd of Tauros just charging at him. Either one of them or both. A few times in the episode that that's going to happen. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like fun because he knows how he knows the Tauros do that. He's going to get in the way, and yeah. That, that that's gonna happen <laughs> so as I said I don't know if that's before or after the bits where what I've been saying is he's, he's been doing but okay yeah I think that is probably gonna be it for the Pokemon that I would say he catches but hmm, I don't know I was kind of like Toying with the idea of Ash actually having a gimme goal. So basically when it evolves into gold goldengo. Goldingo. But ah, uh, whatever. Whatever it's called. Golden or Golden. Well whatever. I, I was thinking that, but that 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 that's a maybe. But everything else, yes, Ash does catch. So with that, back to his journey, he's going from place to place as normal. A few interactions there, here, here and there, and more like taking a break, having some more flashbacks of his time when he was taking the courses, and yeah, not really much. I, I would like, as they, as they did in the first one which obviously with all the like spaces in between of obviously have it shows more on they have more inf stuff going on with the Pokemon at that in the Pau region so obviously the new ones <sighs> so at least 10 10 episodes between each gym battle so yeah, but it it's, it's it's ten days for each. So basically, overall, it's gonna be at least eighty episodes. That's that's just that's just to get the gym badges. And about twenty or so, which are uh, gonna be in the D in the DLCs. So basically. That's 80. Okay, technically, would you say 60? Because Kitakami, Blueberry, back to Kitakami. Yeah. So that's technically right now uh, 140 episodes. So yeah, I've 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 sorted. That's the, that's. That is just that is just phlegm, but 
Hmm. The the league. How? That would probably go about ten episodes. So like a hundred and fifty episodes in total. Yeah. That's it. A hundred ep- hundred and fifty episodes for the Scarlet and Violet anime. I'm I'm sorry that I'm done. That is it. I know I'm not doing the whole individual episodes, but it's 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 kinda hard because well, okay, it's not really hard, but thinking of a, the a scenario for each for all all these 150 episodes, yeah, it it'd probably be a bit much, but yeah, so yeah, as as like you know. And I'm, I'm plus. I'm basically like f- copying the events from the games. So basically, that's basically everything that he does. Everything in the games, which everything Ash does, apart from here and there's and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> so yeah. Basically, after. Uh, okay, so yeah, we get so Ashes. Right, so as as I've said with with the league and all that, Ashes just Ashes finished that now because all the events from the game and all that. So, yeah. So, Ash gets to the league. Wait, no. Should, should he deal with Penny Penny first? Yeah, actually, actually, he will. So basically, after he defeats the final Team Star member, and yeah, basically a few days after that, you obviously Penny is not going to be with him. So, and so Penny's going to give give him a message on like a burner phone or something. I don't know. Some no, actually, her phone because he doesn't keep track of those either. As like she's been doing already. Mm. Then challenge challenges him to a fight, obviously, and basically when Ash shows up, obviously, he's gonna be completely surprised. First, ask like, "What? What are you doing here? And I supposed to be fighting the lead, the main leader of Team Star and all that?" Penny says it's. Yes, that's me. I was the one who made Team Star, and then goes into the backstory of how Team Star came to be and all that. And I think that's how it works in the game, does it? Yeah. So after that, they had the fight. Obviously, Ash wins. But hmm. I would probably say it's 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 kind of even, sort of. It, it basically comes down to a one on one. Her favourite against Pikachu. <laughs> Obviously. And. Yeah. Ash wins. Team Star is disbanded. They come back to school. But we're probably not going to. Well, obviously, we will see them. But when Ash is actually graduating. Which. Will be after. Every, all the other events are done, so, yeah. So and oh yeah, we've already dealt with, we've already finished with Arvin, so we've finished Arvin's story, and all the herbs, and all that. And as I said, every time they go for, a, they sit down for a sandwich with the herb and Mystica, and obviously, it it it's go, it's going to be. Uh, Crydon, because obviously Crydon and Sada, as like Toro and Maridon. So yeah. So it it basically, in a way, sort of instead of having two of the same legendary, 
it's it's two different ones. So yeah, it would make sense. And every, yeah, as as like I said, every time they go to sit down and eat, Karaidon always comes out of his pokeball, asks Arvin, well, sits at Arvin, seeing if he can get a sandwich. Arvin says no. He go he goes over to Ash. Ash gives him a bit of the sandwich. And yeah. So that kind of like makes the sort of bond that for later on in Airy Zero. So that's kind of what I'm going, I'm, as like I said, I'm going with. So yeah, in the league. So yeah, with all that done, we have the league. Ash, of, Ash wins it because, well, he, need, he needs to win it. As he said, this is his final, as like I've said, that he has said, it's his final time doing it. If he fails, then that's it. He's done. He's not going to be a Pokemon trainer. He's just going to focus on being a Pokemon Ranger instead of being a Pokemon Ranger and a Pokemon trainer. Because that's technically what he's doing. He, as like I said, he came here to be a Pokemon Ranger. But because of Nimona, he was brought, he was kind of convinced to have one final run at being a Pokemon trainer and win the big prize. Because as as liking in Gala, he found out about the World Coronation ship. And as like we've seen, Ash's gold post keeps moving. Because episode one, it was to capture every Pokemon in the world. Then, I don't know if it was a, a Pokemon Center or, or another place, but then Ash saw the, the poster for the Pokemon League. Then he said that I win there, I'll be a Pokemon Master. Then jump ahead a few uh, regions. At the end, he sees the Championship League, which is a step beyond a league champion. So then it was there. Then he's the Pokemon Master. Now he knows that the World Coronation Ship Series, that's his goal. And you can't get, you can't go above World Champion, can you? Normal league champion, regional champion, world champion. Yeah, that's that's his final goal. So, yeah, he he, he, he gets through the the league. Well, the first few matches, he he gets through, he gets through them easy. Pikachu, uh, Diplin, uh. Kilowattrol and Annihilate. They are probably the key four that help him to breeze through the initial first first fights. Okay, and then so basically like the standard qualifier before you go and get into the brackets, which obviously will all be done in one episode because. Yeah, they're, they're all one-on-ones. So those are the four Pokemon that Ash is going to use. And it's one-on-one -on -one fights. Then you get to the brackets. And with that, it's all... I, I, I don't know how many, how many, tra how many trainers should, should be in this. Standard... What, 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 what's, the, what's the standard in, in a league? Uh, I, I, I really should have worked this out. But, I don't know. 36, is it? Or, is it 32? Yeah, I think it's 32. 32, 16, 8, 4, and 2, and 1. Yeah. I think, I think that's how it goes. So, yeah. Ash gets into that league. He obviously gets through... It becomes the 
the league champion, so yeah. Even though technically he's already done it once before, he did it in the Lola. But yeah, he's now the league champion in two regions. He has not become a, a regional champion yet. So yeah, after this, he gets a, a phone call from. Who who do you get the phone call from? Phone call from again? Or do you get a phone call in the games? To say, okay, oh wait, no, first, first, as I say, we get, Arvin gives Asha phone call to come back to the lighthouse and then from there, with Penny, Nimona, Arvin and Ash, all do the areas, area zero, wait, so, hmm, actually, Okay, so I've done all the others. They should actually take a few episodes too. Not just one, so... Uh, I'll, I'll probably say another ten. So, yeah. So basically the first episode after Lee will be Arvin giving Ash a phone call. Getting him to grab everyone, so... Oh yeah, Ash is going to be having that little fight with... Nimona as well, that one final one final battle at the end of the league. And yeah, Ash is gonna win that, obviously. Which then is gonna grab them is gonna talk to Nimona, talk to Penny. Arvin's already gonna be waiting there. All meet up at the lighthouse. Then they all head to Area Zero. Which Yeah, okay, I'll say Ash wins the league, the episode ends. The next episode will be Ash fighting the Mona. Then Ash getting the phone call, Ash getting everybody and going to the lighthouse. And then they make the arrangements to go to Area Zero. Well actually get the tran get the uh, is it a f no it's a phone call from Slather at this point. Yeah. To come to Area Zero. So yeah, that happens, episode ends. So, then we pick up, basically in front in front of Area Zero, the, the main gate. They go through, they go f into the big building. Penny starts uh, poking around doing a little technical stuff, <laughs> as, as she does. Uh, opens the hatch. And and also at this point, Coridon's decided is is out of his pokeball. Well, he has to be. He has to be out for this whole journey at this point. So yeah, and he's poking around. Door opens. Well, the hatch at the back, and then he basically have a look down into Area Zero. Obviously, they see clouds and all that, so they don't actually see inside it yet so yeah after a little bit they as like the same same kind of scene from the games that is how everyone line lines up so it's Arvin it's Arvin Nimona Penny then all's getting dragged dragged behind is it yeah that that's how that's how Ash is gonna go <laughs> into Area Zero, and then obviously they're gonna be all open eyes, jaw hitting the floor, seeing how nice the place is, and the new kinds of Pokemon that they see, the Paradox Pokemon running around, apart from the one that they've already seen, which. <sighs> As I said, I still don't know. <laughs> would it would it be Great Tusk or Iron Treads? I, I don't know. Or basically, it could be like a tag team. That's now well, then again with a. 
the, the sushi book one, technically you do fight it sort of multiple times and all that. So yeah, basically that can be the same. Iron, Iron Treads and Great Tusks, both at the same time. So yeah. Yeah, so basically that's the only paradox that they've seen so far. Then when they go in, they see a lot more. Each episode is is going to be okay. So one for when they all meet up at the lighthouse and make the arrangements with uh, Toro to come to Area Zero, get into Area Zero, and get to the first uh, station. Whatever it is, is going to be episode two. Eat, get into each station is going to be an episode in itself. And then obviously when they get down to the bottom, it's, it's going to play out the exact same way but with Ash and his team instead of obviously the main character of the game. And obviously the same thing is going to happen so they get down there, they start the battle and <sighs> is it they have the battle then the puck walls get locked and out comes Karaidon and then after that <sighs> either way it goes the exact same way as the game and yeah basically Alvin has a little Sort of like a little touching communication with the android Toro and say did my father ever love me or something because he was never there only my mother was and all that stuff and yes he does the android does relay the message that yes he did love you he was just busy and all that stuff even though eh, it's not something a kid wants to hear right mm. Because if the, if the father's never there, then you kind of think other stuff, don't you? Hmm. Well, then again, except in the Pokemon world, because fathers are basically never there. Hmm. Ash's father's never there. Dawn's father's never there. Serena's father's never there. Obviously, Maze was, because she was... Actually, her father was a gym leader. So, yeah. Hmm. So basically they have this whole interaction then obviously they win by shut by shutting down the time machine coming back out probably resting up uh, having like a few days rest then they get a phone call about going to blueberry academy because the special invitation because from Carmen, it's Carmen's special invitation for Ash to come there, and obviously that sets up the whole next like twenty episodes of Ash getting there, Ash seeing what Blueberry Academy is, seeing the big uh, terrarium dome, and. Basically, the whole storyline line with that is joining their Pokemon Club, League Club, or whatever it is, Pokemon Fight Club, I don't know, whatever. And going, going through each of the top four to fight Kieran at the end, to prove to Kieran, to prove to Kieran that it's not what Pokemon you have, it's how well you work, or how Hard, no, how hard you push him is how well you work with him. So that's, so basically, yeah, that's what Ash is going to be sort of teaching Kieran, but he's not, he does, he does hear it, he understands, he understands it, but it, obviously, it still kind of goes out the window when uh, Briar, 
brings Ash and M plus Kieran and Carmine into Area Zero, lower depths and and they obviously and they meet Trapagos. The same kind of events and all that. Which Kieran's gonna see the the rupee, tries and pick it up, obviously pulls it off. Trapagos comes out, same kind of scene. Sees Ash and then tra starts walk walking towards him. Right? Kieran throws a master ball. Possibly, no, no, this is the second time we would have seen a master ball in the Pokemon anime. Because the first time was with uh, that wish cash that caught the master ball in its mouth. <laughs> that That was fun. <laughs> And basically at the end of that episode, it was still playing with that Master Ball. <laughs> but, yeah. Kieran, ca Kieran catches it with, with the Master Ball. Challenges Ash again. And saying, yes, I know you tried to teach me stuff. I know what I've learned. I want to see how well I do. So, obviously, they have a fight, a one-on-one -on -one fight. And Kieran loses. Then Briar tells it to Terrestrial, gets Kieran to Terrestrialize it, to unleash its full power. Does and it kind of goes out of control like it does in the anime. Ash and everyone have to work together to basically stop it from going haywire. Going, going out of control with the power it's, it's got. So yeah, they're gonna take it in turns as as they do. Trestalize, get rid of the shield, steal the trestalizing power from their Pokemon so we could get the shield back. And obviously they can trestalize it again because of how Tropicos is actually allowing that the trestalizing sphere to keep Keep being used. It doesn't have to recharge. So yeah. Ash beats it. And then before instead of okay, instead of actually catching it, because Ash is not gonna catch it, it's it's just gonna shrink back into that rupee form and then go back to sleep. Yeah, I know it is it, it, it's been asleep a long time. It just got woken up and now it's going back to sleep. But before that, uh, a trestleized shard, which is not linked. Mm. Do they actually? But they have. They actually have trestle shards. Yeah, yeah, they actually would. A special trestle shard will be dropped by Trapagos before it goes to sleep. Ash picks it up and asks what what the hell is this? And they don't even know it's not it's not even the stellar trestle type shard that what Trapagos was right now. So yeah, basically Ash has now got a special trestle shard. He has no idea what it's for. So then basically after after all this, it's all it's all finished. That's good. Ash goes back to Paldea, rest up a little bit, and then he gets a phone call from. I I don't know. Would, would it be Carmine or Kieran? To to say that yes, you helped us once before. Now something strange is happening on the planet, on no, on our island, in Kitakami, and it's the whole uh, Petrarant pet thing that Ash has to deal with. So, okay, that makes uh, even more episodes. But because this is a short one, um, I'll say it's only going to be five episodes long. Yeah. Five episodes, five episodes long. So we've got eighty for Ash get going through 
getting the badges, which is defeating Team Team Star, and getting herbs. Then we have twenty for each of for the two DLC bits. So, and then twenty twenty again for the league. Well, for the league and to finish off the story with. No wait, how do I do this again? Okay, eighty for the for the badges and everything else. Twenty for the DLC. That that's that's one hundred and twenty. Uh, ten. Wait, ah, I'm 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 redoing I'm redoing all this. So. Ten for the league, so that's three. So that's one hundred and thirty. Wait, no, wait. Yeah, one hundred and thirty. Another ten to finish off with the Sada. No, with Toro. So that's one hundred and forty. Actually, no. We'll, we'll just do with this number 10, so overall 150 episodes. Yeah, I know, I think I already got to 150 before, but no, I'm, 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 it's, it's locked in now. 50, 50, 50 for the league, no, 50, 80 for the badges, 20 for the each, for the first two DLCs, 20 each, so that's 40. 10 for the league. No wait, yeah, no, another, okay, so, 80, 40, 120, hundred thirty, hundred forty, another 10, and yeah, the patch run is going to, is going to be another 10 episodes, because that is going to just wrap everything up, so yeah. 150 episodes for Scar for Scarlet and Violet. So yeah, obviously the whole Petren is gonna obviously as I, as like I've said before already, it's gonna play out the exact same way. So they're gonna get there. Stuff's gonna happen. Petren's gonna show up, giving feeding people his mochi. Everyone's gonna start going crazy and doing the chicken dance. And Ash is gonna end up fighting him. You know, sadly, it's gonna like only be. <clears throat> should, it, should it have more battles than just three? Mm, I don't. I don't know. But basically, at the end of it, Petran is gonna go back to sleep. It's gonna basically withdraw into its little shape thing, and then go back to sleep again. Yes, I know. Olga Pun is the only one that's awake. Only legendary from all this that's still awake. The other two have gone back to sleep. I know. I, I can't think of an actual way how they can still be awake and not causing mayhem. Even though basically we we could prob they could probably teach Petran a lesson and teach it that the. There's no point in doing all this. But, yeah, I know that basically what Ash would do. But it's just, it's just kind of hard to figure out how. I would like that to happen, but it depends on how, how it's done. But then, after all this, that special terrestrial shard that, that he got from Trapagos before he fell asleep basically starts reacting and obviously the whole Petran stuff is dealt with uh, I, I don't know the village chief or I, I don't know someone who knows more about the the crystal pool will actually come up to Ash and say isn't isn't that a 
Trestle Shard from the Crystal Pool? Where did you get it from? Ash kind of says he got it from Paldea in Area Zero. Well, obviously, they kind of know about Area Zero, so it's because all of it is big news in a way. So, yeah, then tells Ash about the Crystal Pool, even though technically did. Ash has already been there, but. Yeah. And this. And then when Ash goes there, it leads into. As like in the games when you bring Trapagos to the Crystal Pool, you get that little event. Because Ash has that shard, that trestle shard, it's the key to activate that same event, but with uh, with 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 Sada, and yeah, they start they have a conversation and and all that. Same same as what you have in the game in in a way, and. Yeah, obviously Ash is going to have the book to also trade. Actually, no. No, that whole book incident is not actually in. You know, basically that does play a part into it, but... Actually, yeah. That that same book is, go is going to be here because it, it's the book and that crystal, uh, that crystal shard that is the key. So obviously Ash is going to trade the book for book for book. And also, he, he he starts talking about Arvin as well, and saying that well, say it starts like talking to the what events what happened in the future to the past Sada. So that and also saying that yeah, Arvin's lonely without his. No, 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 we can't. No. I, I want to find a, a good way how this, this would work. But. How Ash can. Sort of be the paradox in, in a way that allows Sada to. Sort of in a way. Cut her research short a l just just by a bit. Because obviously she's still doing research, but she's not doing research in Area Zero as what she was doing before. When Arvin was ba basically still a little child. Because I don't know when was the point that that incident actually happens. But... Uh, <laughs> somehow Ash thought... I don't know how it's going to go, but... Ash somehow talk, talks to her to probably to help her focus more on her son and her research because she works on the because her research is on the past it's not going anywhere and you can do that anytime so she, that is probably why she spends more time with Arvin and doing research so basically she doesn't get caught in the accident and all that that's why Toro, Toro did, and she didn't. Because, even though probably she did speak speak this with Toro when after this whole event, but they probably I don't know, sort of like did in turns. Like, you you stay with Arvin for a bit, I'll stay with Arvin for a bit, and we'll keep switching. So basically, in that time when Sada was up with Arvin, that incident occurred. But then, sort of when Sada went back, she noticed what happened, and that his android was was still around and still doing stuff. So, in a way, yes, she he was gone, but technically his re research can still live on. But eh, whatever, some something like that. But it has to be done in the right way. I just. Not fully sure how Ash can get that message across, even though he has kind of spoke to a lot of people and dealt with I think I like dealt with stuff like this once before or a few times. I, I don't know. I said I don't know how we would do it by talking to the past and then 
But, but, but obviously, is Ash gonna actually meet Sada? I wonder. I I know it's through video calls and phone calls, but mm, it is kind of obvious that. Uh, That she would recognize him, but mm, it just it, it probably will make sense only if it's a phone call that they've only been that they've been talking to Sada. They've never seen her in person, not even on video call. That that would make sense because then she wouldn't know anything about the ash that's there now, which tells her past self to not about Arvind and trouble and all that he needs his parents so make make time for, you, for your son not always focus on your research so, so, something like that I don't know he, it's just kind of hard to try and think of something how what Ash will say that will actually work but yeah, and after that, he goes back home to say, "Hi, mom, I'm back. I, I, oh yeah, and off. Obviously, the his graduation of him completing the Ranger course. That's also going to happen. So basically, at this point, he is a Ranger. He can be. He is legally a Pokemon Ranger. But as as I said, he goes back home." He tells his mom, yes, I completed my ranger course. I am now a Pokemon Ranger. But I also won this this trophy too. I won I was kind of com I was coerced, encouraged to take on their league, and yeah, I won this. Somehow he's gonna say that I'm saying that and also I, I don't know. I don't know how he would say it, but he, w he will say it. He tells his mom that I'm now a ranger. I can I can do ranger work. Here's my stylus thing that I use to catch Pokemon, but not catch Pokemon and all that. Because obviously that's going to be a graduation gift too. Oh, basically he only gets that when he actually... Oh no, yeah, he's complete the course. He just... He has to go to an actual ranger station to even get all that stuff. So yeah, he hasn't got it. He just goes and says that yes, I'm a ranger. I can now go to one of the ranger stations and start being a Pokemon ranger. I will be a Pokemon master this way. But I also I also won this trophy. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I won this trophy. <laughs> I won their league. Or some something like that. That's how it. That's how it ends. Like basically, when he just says, "I I also won this trophy," <laughs> then then it's gonna end. <laughs> because it's gonna be kind of hard to uh, probably explain. Saying, "Yeah, I I went there for one thing, but I was convinced to do another thing, and which I said I wasn't gonna do, but I did it anyway." And is the proof of my of me winning? Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to, like, say that, isn't it? So, yeah, that, that that's basically it. My whole vision for Scarlet and Violet, the anime version, if, obviously, if Journeys didn't exist. Because, because Journeys existed, even though, as we all know, it was technically supposed to be Go's anime, not Ash's. And then they decided to have Ash hijack it. So, yeah. Journeys does not exist. And this is how I say it should have gone. I don't know if I'm right. I don't know if you all like it or what. But, hey. I, I had fun make, making this. As like I did making Gala. I was making the Sword and Shield anime. 
I have fun, make my own, put my own spin on stuff. So, yeah. It's, it's, and anyway, it's not like they can actually go back and do, do this now anyway, but... It's still a better, it's still a better scenario than what, than what we got. Because Ash is still too young to beat world champion. He hasn't even qualified. He's not even a regional champion yet. He's a league champion, not a regional champion, so he shouldn't have been able to qualify. And anyway, they were, it was kind of a joke anyway, because every single champion now we've gone through wasn't there. Because Tobias, I okay, and I know, and obviously Iris, she should not have been there. Put in order, the actual regional champion from the anime. Put him in there. He would have been better. Put him in there instead of Iris. Put in Tobias. I don't know who they would have took out, but... Yeah, put in an actual champion. Not someone who was just made a champion just because they... Just because a game had a version of it. That does not make sense. Have an actual champion... Older, or whatever his name is, have him, have Tobias. That would have made more sense. And yeah, obviously, to and even though this kind of kind of been hard, but the two battles that Leon has, he faces. Uh. What, 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 what's his name now? The guy with the Charizard X from the whole from that thing. Leon fights him, then he faces Tobias to to get to the finals. That would have made more sense. But no, they decided to go. You know what? Fuck it. Hmm. So, yeah. That's, that's my take on making a Scarlet and Violet anime. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let, let me know. And if... Uh, there's going to be a 10th gen with another region... Well, obviously, I'm going to have to play it first before I can actually, you know, as like I said, it's basically going to kind of copy still the what happens in the game, but still. And as, and this would be another thing that follows, which this, then actual journeys, well, it'll be something else. But I, I don't know. But yeah, after that, then Ash has an actual end to his story, not taking a shortcut like it like it just did. So yeah, that is going to be it. If you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. And also, I would appreciate it if you give me a little bit of a thumbs up. If you like it, do it that way, <laughs> and subscribe too. So yeah, I'm going to end this here. So if you liked it. Hit the like button, subscribe, bell for notifications, comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye.